my beautiful souls, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your daily tarot reading for Saturday, May 7th, 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. Do keep in mind this is general for the day for all 12 signs, so just take what, uh, what resonates, bear with me as I struggle. But as well, thank you in advance for your love and support in the form of likes, comments, and of course, subscriptions to this lovely growing channel if you haven't done so already. Now, um, we're going to begin by pulling a message or two from the Spirit of the Animals Oracle deck, this big deck, and then we'll further speak upon each quarter of the day, break it down with the Animals Tarot deck, okay? Let's do some shuffling. Your inner knowing is going to take a focus as I split the deck, okay? As well as your vibrancy. Whatever you're accomplishing, wrapping oneself up with throughout the day, um, bear with me as I knock the camera. There's a focus on your inner knowing, your intuition, I want to say. Um, what you expect to unravel, take place, change moving forward. But all the meanwhile, I just feel as if you're very vibrant, um, showing off a bit, but not too much throughout this day. I feel as if people are impressed by your presence and how easily you can persuade, I want to say. Um, but as well, um, how easily you can accomplish a job, um, certain tasks throughout this Saturday. For my beautiful souls for this upcoming Saturday. Okay. Flying out, we have love. Okay. So there's a focus on love throughout this day. Um, whether it's purely a level of love for what you do for work, um, for certain changes you're moving towards, aspiring to achieve, fulfill. Um, it could be obviously due to certain connections, right? But there's an underlying focus on adventure, right? Viewing a, uh, an opportunity in your life as an adventure, but also thinking about a specific adventure you foresee for oneself down the line, okay? Um, they're saying you don't have to do it alone if you don't want to. But I do feel as if certain people are expressing their love towards you for your work or for your talents, for your kind nature, or for simply just being you, okay? Um, be gentle with yourself, okay? So self-love taking a focus as well throughout this Saturday. Talking about you healing with the power of love and seeing the light in all things, okay? It's the silver lining and even the negatives, the annoyances, the obstacles, there's always something to appreciate, okay? A purpose to everything, even the negatives. And a push to acknowledge your self-worth and grace. There is a level of grace about your energy throughout this day, okay? Bear with any background noise. We're going to continue and do some shuffling for the tarot. You could be dealing with, uh, as you're feeling quite graceful for the most part, um, I feel like your energy is quite on point, um, even if you're empathic, okay? I just feel as if there's potentially some noise that you're dealing with, um, other energies around you that aren't perfect. This keeps coming up in the daily reads. But again, we're breaking this down into four quarters. Okay. So we have the King of Swords to begin for the first quarter. I'll have to move these, bear with me. Can you see that? Okay. All right, I had to take a quick pause due to uh, the background noise. But look, we have the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck before I shift everything over, more so in the view of the camera within the frame. But an underlining focus on a specific connection, it doesn't have to be love or romance oriented. Um, but I do feel, okay, potentially love oriented, but it doesn't have to be romantic, okay? It feels as if certain uh, people are very connected to you or feeling very connected to your spirit, as in drawn to the word spirit. Um, you could find as if there's just one specific connection that takes a focus in regards to seeing yourself fully or getting to the point of fully connecting with them. That was the most complicated way of putting that. But let's move this over and put everything in frame, okay? Alrighty, so once again, we're beginning with the King of Swords. We're going to further clarify with the same deck. What do we have for this King of Swords? 
Beginning the day uh, doing a balancing act feels like you could be utilizing your knowledge or wisdom experience from the past to weigh out options, okay? But it feels like for a lot of us, it's more so in regards to um, a business, a project, a job, a hobby, even though this is a Saturday. A lot of people do work on um, Saturdays. But anyways, it feels like this is kind of coming through as a full card feeling. Um, I know you can't really see it too well. Uh, talking about how you are pushed to recognize you have what it takes or reminded you have what it takes from the past, the ups and downs, to take a leap of faith moving forward, okay? To decide on what's right for you. I'm just gonna shine a light on each one as I put them up. But um, I feel a level of success in regards to planning to cut something out of your life and replace it with something better, but also with what you're producing and developing um, within this juggling act throughout this day. All right, it feels very task oriented um, throughout the day in general, but it's coming through specifically for this first quarter. But we make our way to the second quarter and we have the tower card, okay? Let's pull a clarifier for this. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I truly feel a level of secrecy taking place. And I'm not gonna shine the light on this one, keywording, okay? I feel as if there's a lot you're not sharing, telling people about a big change in the future. You might've told one person I wanna, I wanna say, um, but I just feel as if you're moving in silence, right? In secrecy, um, keeping things on the down low out of respect for um, keeping the process simplistic or as much as you can. Um, just trying to figure things out, weigh out the options uh, without overcomplicating once again. Okay, we have two coming out, the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, reaching for your independence um, and expecting a tower moment in the near future. You could even be pushed to think about, for whatever reason, a tower moment from the recent past, okay? Um, okay, it feels like in, on one end, you are reaching for your individual independence, okay? Through your work, uh, however it works for you, right? With the Four of Swords, being reminded you're protected moving forward, but also feeling as if you do need time to rest. You may not fully have it um, as an option at this point, but all the meanwhile, it feels like this is more so pertaining to the tower card at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so a level of alone time as well with the hermit card. Uh, needing to have patience in a situation, whether it's a home uh, resident, residential situation, excuse me, making you a bit nervous, or it could be work oriented, where you know, expect, or just simply desire a tower moment. And um, with the Eight of Swords, it's leaving you feeling a bit trapped um, and needing just a level of peace to be brought back to your life. Someone needs to relax, okay? And it doesn't feel like your energy. But moving on to the second quarter of the day as we try to keep this simplistic, the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. Okay, so you begin the second half of the day and things feel a bit heavy for one reason or another. You're going to get through this, all right? You have the knowledge, the wisdom, you've dealt with certain situations that have prepped you to deal with the heaviness at this time, whether it's more so speaking upon your heavy workload, um, the energy in the air in a situation or multiple, it could be a multitude of factors. Um, and it feels like the heaviness that you're experiencing is creating a bit of a reminiscent vibe, right? Um, a bit of nostalgia kicks in as you feel as if it reminds you of a past time, um, maybe due to the kind of situation, the area, or just, um, and or uh, all that you're just uh, accomplishing or trying to at this time, okay? Um, it feels as if you are reminded why you're meant to move forward and not backtrack, right? Not rewind to what once worked for you, okay? Even if for one reason or another, that kind of took place to an extent in your life um, recently, all right? Um, again, I really feel as if there's a level of alone time taking place um, throughout this day that is quite important for one's replenishing, okay? Uh, or simply just you could be an individual that just works well alone, especially if you're empathic is what I'm hearing. And then we're moving on to the last quarter of the day where we have the Ace of Wands. 
A passionate new beginning takes a highlight, okay, as they drew me over to the love card. Now, this could be more so in regards to a connection or somebody you are connecting with, and that takes a highlight, even if you're just thinking about them um, or that connection in and of itself. But I feel like even if this is about work or living or just a different kind of new beginning in your life, it feels like it's one you're meant to love, right? Um, we're replacing one with the other and it feels like in the midst of this you're thinking about that new beginning in one way shape or form and how you can't cut out being aligned with the tower card you can't cut out uh cut out excuse me what isn't working for you anymore or just won't moving forward um not yet okay it's not the time it's not divine timing for oneself at this moment there's a lot to learn and grow and benefit from um, a lot of benefits to gain between now and that tower moment that you are creating, manifesting for oneself. But this passionate fresh start feels as if it's going to transform your life for the better. You're going to have a life that you live uh, in a more loving way. Okay, that's not how I was planning to word it. But um, uh, the dragonfly spiritual meaning of it definitely plays into this day to say the least. Um, thinking about what you once again, even outside of this specific tower moment, you can't adjust just yet. Um, and potentially other ways you can improve your situation out of respect for this new, what feels like a financial investment with the Page of Pentacles, okay? We're gonna pull one for the center. Hey, they just want this Hermit card to be present as I just feel you are pushed to recognize that just as we mentioned in Friday's reading, Ships are coming in moving forward, okay? It feels like the motivation is there, but needing to just have patience with the energy, with the situation, with um, certain delays, it feels like, for some, but more so with just divine timing and how things are meant to unravel and just breathe and move towards what you deserve, uh, which is definitely a situation and a life in a larger sense that you're meant to love uh, more so. Um, but make sure you're implementing a true level of self-care and self-love throughout this specific Saturday, okay? So I hope this was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Go have yourself an amazing day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.